सो हाई एवरी वन एंड अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू नद क्लास ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन इन टूडे सेशन गाइज विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द पी आई बी न्यूज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ टू थर्टी एथ ऑफ मे टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड नाउ अराउंड वन मंथ इज ओनली लेफ्ट फॉर दी फेज वन ऑफ आर बी आई ग्रेड बी एग्जामिनेशन फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन प्लीज फोकस ऑन योर फेज वन एग्जाम फेज वन एग्जाम ठीक है अभी फेज टू के ऊपर से सारा का सारा फोकस हटा के सारा का सारा फोकस लेके आना है आपको फेज वन के ऊपर You need to practice the quant reasoning English, and of course you have to uh, do the current affairs and government schemes, right? And please do not forget to attempt the mock test. Mock test के बिना paper देने मत जाना. बिना mock test के paper देने गए तो भाई साहब गड़बड़ हो सकती है. All right. तो चलो start करते हैं फिर आज की class. So let's start with today's session and let's talk about the very first question, which uh, says it is about Atal Bhujal Yojana. ठीक है वी हैव रिसेंटली डिस्कस्ड आई बिलीव अबाउट अटल अटल भूजल योजना तो फिर से पढ़ लेते हैं नो प्रॉब्लम इन दैट सो अटल भूजल योजना इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड एज वर्ल्ड बैंक फंडेड सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम्स इन डैश इन एट डबल टू जीरो वाटर स्ट्रेस्ड ग्राम पंचायत ऑफ टू ट्वेंटी नाइन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ब्लॉक्स ऑफ और तालुका एज इन एट्टी डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ हाउ मेनी स्टेट्स फॉर हाउ मेनी ईयर्स पीरियड ठीक है तो यू नीड टू फिल दीज थ्री गैप्स ओके so the first of all uh, the thing is uh, since atal bhujal yojana was launched in the year 2019 then why we are discussing it today remember the atal bhujal yojana the fourth meeting of the national level steering committee of atal bhujal yojana was held in new delhi uh, that's why we are discussing it and uh, this meeting was held to review the overall progress of the scheme right overall progress of the scheme ke liye and during this meeting it was decided that the scheme should be continued For another two years beyond existing time of the scheme, ठीक है Beyond existing time मतलब जो इसका अभी तक जो भी period of implementation था उससे आगे दो साल और ये चलेगा ठीक है जी ना 2025 हजार पच्चीस तक चलेगा ये एक्चुअली द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द स्कीम इज टू रिचार्ज ग्राउंड वाटर एज द नेम सेज इट इज अटल भू जल योजना एंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ भू जल भू जल मीन्स वॉट ग्राउंड वाटर राइट सो दैट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द स्कीम द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज वॉट टू रिचार्ज द ग्राउंड वाटर सोर्सेज and revive the surface water bodies by involving people at the local level so the people at the local level are also invited to participate in achieving the objective of this particular scheme it was launched in the year 2019 to be specific 25th december 2019 25th december 2019 that is the birthday of the great atal bihari vajpayee atal bihari vajpayee ka birthday tha birthday hota hai is din right now this funding Uh, it is a world bank funded central sector scheme and the total outlay for it is 6000 crore and between world bank and central government the funding ratio is 50 50 which means 3000 crore out of this 6000 crore is funded by the world bank and the rest 3000 crore is by the central government the duration for this scheme is 5 year that is 2025 and it is being implemented by ministry of jal shakti ministry of jal shakti isko implement kar raha hai right Talking more about it, so it is being implemented in eight double two zero water stressed gram panchayats of two twenty nine administrative blocks or talukas in eighty districts of seven states, which are Gujarat, Haryana, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, and Uttar Pradesh. And yes, you have to remember, you have to remember the names of these uh, states because Atal Bhujal Yojana has been recently two times in the news. Mein aa hai. So uh, there are high chances that this scheme is going to be asked in your examination, right? Remember, the scheme is being implemented in the challenge method, wherein states performing well can be released. In fact, are released are provided with the more incentive fund, and the state's performance is being measured through pre-defined uh, targets, which are known as what disbursement linked indicators. So there are few indicators based on which the incentives are provided to the states based on their performance. Okay, ji. Now there are two components of the scheme. Number one is incentive components, and number two is institutional strengthening and capacity building. Under incentive component, the states are provided with the incentives for convergence amongst various scheme of the central and state government, and to achieve the objective of this particular scheme. The total outlay of incentive component is forty six hundred crore, provided by the World Bank, and out uh, with World Bank contribution is three thousand crore, and central government sixteen hundred crore. while in the second component that is institutional strengthening and capacity building uh, the total outlay is 1400 crore which is entirely won by the central government because out of 6000 crore 3000 uh, by world bank 3000 by central government and in incentive component 3000 this entire 3000 uh, is given 
बाय द वर्ल्ड बैंक फॉर इंसेंटिव कॉम्पोनेंट ओनली प्लस फोर्टीन हंड्रेड करोर्स सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड करोर्स बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट वाली इन द इंस्टीट्यूशनल स्ट्रेंथनिंग वाला कॉम्पोनेंट फोर्टीन हंड्रेड करोर बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ठीक है नाउ दिस कॉम्पोनेंट इज फॉर स्ट्रेंथनिंग द इंस्टीट्यूशनल अरेंजमेंट्स एंड कैपेसिटीज इन द स्टेट्स सो दैट दे कैन यू नो सस्टेनेबली मैनेज देयर ग्राउंड वाटर एंड दिस इनवाइसिज इज स्ट्रेंथनिंग द इंस्टीट्यूशनल कैपेसिटी एट ऑल लेवल्स बी इट स्टेट बी इट डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल बी इट ब्लॉक लेवल और द ग्राम पंचायत लेवल और राइट सो गाइज दैट इज ऑल अबाउट दिस स्कीम एंड आई होप दिस इज क्लियर लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द क्वेश्चन नाउ सो अटल भू जल योजना इज बींग इंप्लीमेंटेड सिंस टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन इन सेवन स्टेट्स एंड फाइव ईयर पीरियड सो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन सी टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन सेवन फाइव इज द करेक्ट आंसर लेट्स मूव है टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वेर हैज द एट्थ International Conference on Pharma and Medical Device Sector been organized to promote India as a manufacturing hub of quality medical products in the pharmaceutical and medical device sector. So this was the eighth edition of International Conference on Pharma and Medical Device Sector, and it was organized. It was inaugurated in New Delhi, the capital. The objective of this conference was to promote India as a manufacturing hub of quality medical products in the pharmaceutical and medical device sector. ठीक है, so that's very basic. And talking about it, so this conference is an annual flagship conference dedicated for India's medical device sector and pharmaceutical sector, organized by the Department of Pharmaceuticals, which works under the Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizers, and FICCI, which is an industry body, Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. There were themes of this conference for medical device sector. The theme was Sustainable MedTech 5.0. scaling and innovating indian medtech and for pharmaceutical sector the theme was indian pharma industry delivering value through innovation all right so i hope this news is clear and let's uh, answer this question now the correct answer is new delhi of course option a is the correct answer let's talk about question number 3 then which organization or organizations has have launched the leadership program in science and technology which in short is leads program leads to provide opportunity to promising scientists to learn about and equip themselves for leadership roles in science and technology theek hai ji so the lead program has been uh, launched by national center for good governance and indian national science academy together they both together have launched the leadership program in science and technology which in short is leads right and this program has been launched to realize vision of india at 2047 for scientific and technological advancements during the period of amrit kal all right now talking about this program so it is a joint initiative of national center for good governance which works under the ministry of personal public grants and pension and indian national science academy theek hai it's indian national science academy na ha yes indian national science academy this program will provide opportunity to promising scientists so that they can learn and equip themselves about the leadership roles in science and technology how they can acquire the leadership roles in science and technology and thereby taking forward the ecosystem of the entire science and technology theek hai it is actually a one week residential program with first batch of scientists attending it in the month of july 2023 the focus areas of leads what are the what will be the focus areas so these will be the focus areas leadership in science and technology administration and human resource management management of public fund resource mobilization expenditure audit etc r&d management and output and communication and outreach now you don't have to remember word to word by uh, word to word all these focus areas these are provided just for the understanding uh, ki is uh, program mein sarkar kin cheez kin areas ke upar focus karegi theek hai ji so let's uh, come back to the question now which organization is this these are national center for good governance and insa that is Nas indian national science academy and that's why the correct answer is option e a and c let's move ahead to question number 4 now which of the following statements is incorrect uh, with respect to the recently launched internship program for women students scholars social activity uh, activists and teachers by the ministry of women and child development theek hai ministry of women and child development is headed by uh, smriti irani Smriti Rani and Smriti Rani's Lok Sabha constituency is Amethi, which is of course in Uttar Pradesh, right? So this is an internship program for women, and the Ministry of Women and Child Development has invited applications from women students 
scholars social activists and teachers so four category of women can participate in this program these are student scholars social activist and teachers and these women should be from non tier 1 cities and rural parts of the country right this is very important only the non tier 1 cities women and rural parts uh, rural india's women can uh, participate in this internship program now this internship program will help in orientation of women with policies and programs of the ministry of women and child development through short term association theek hai short term course short term training provide karai jayegi short term internship hogi actually uh, for uh, making aware the women about the policies and programs of the ministry of women and child development and the duration will be of 2 months starting from 3rd july 2023 to 31st august 2023 and under uh, this program intern interns may be required to undertake certain pilot projects or micro studies focusing on the ongoing activities of the ministry theek hai ji now eligibility ki baat kare so any women jo ki char categories mein ho sakti hain between the age group of 21 to 40 years can participate in it location maine aapko already bata diya from non tier 1 cities and rural india candidates must need to be enrolled in or associated with any university academic or non academic institutions and candidate once selected for this program cannot participate in, cannot participate under this program again right which means do do bar aapko iska benefit nahi milega and the selection of interns will be made on the basis of a selection committee which has been duly constituted for this purpose okay and what are the benefits so the selected interns will uh, be granted a lump sum stipend of rupees 20000 per month and reimbursement of the travel cost and not only this hostel facility shall also be provided along with a certificate on successful completion of the internship all right so that is all about this internship program and let's identify the incorrect statement it is a two month internship program to help orientating women students scholars social activities and teachers yes sahi baat hai candidates only from non tier 1 cities and rural parts of country are uh, eligible under it yes candidates in the age group of 21 to 45 years can apply for it no the age group is 21 to 40 years which means this statement is incorrect and that should be the correct answer to this question option c let's talk about question number 5 then assisted rejuvenating watersheds for agricultural resilience through innovative development program This program, in short, is reward program. Okay, you need to remember the full form. Yes, it is important. Assisted rejuvenating watersheds for agricultural resilience through innovative development program is a World Bank assisted watershed development program. It is being implemented for period starting from 2021 and ending uh, in 2026 to introduce modern watershed practices in in the Department of Land Resources. which works under the ministry of rural development and which two states two states hai aise jahan pe ye implement hoga ye wala project and of course in the department of land resources theek hai ji so let's talk about it so it is in news because uh, the third implementation support mission of world bank recently reviewed this program reward program and if you remember the full form if you can remember the full form of this particular program you you would not be have to uh you know you will not be you, you will not have to remember the objective of this particular scheme theek hai ji to ab iski full form kya hai rejuvenating watersheds for agricultural resilience through innovative development that is the full form theek hai ji that is the full form to rejuvenating watersheds which mean which we are talking about what watershed program right so the objective is to strengthen capacities of national and state institutions so that they can adopt the approved in sorry improved watershed management for increasing farmers resilience all right so that is the objective of this particular program the implementation period 21 to 26 and it is being implemented to in introduce modern watershed practices in department of land resources and two states of karnataka and odisha which means two states karnataka and odisha are also participating in it right total budgetary outlay is 167.71 million over a program period of uh, 4.5 years actually a 5 years hona uh, chahiye but theek hai 2021 ke beech mein kahin shuru hua hoga isliye inko inhone yahan pe 4.5 years mention kiya hai right and out of this us 115 million dollar from the world bank karnataka 60 million dollar odisha ko jayega 49 million dollar and department of land resources 6 million dollar out of this 115 million dollar 
फ्रॉम वर्ल्ड बैंक कर्नाटका गवर्नमेंट विल बी गेट सिक्सटी मिलियन डॉलर उड़ीसा गवर्नमेंट विल गेट फोर्टी नाइन मिलियन डॉलर एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लैंड रिसोर्स विल गेट विल गेट सिक्स मिलियन डॉलर राइट एंड द रेस्ट फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन वन मिलियन डॉलर आउट ऑफ दिस विल कम फ्रॉम द टू पार्टिसिपेटिंग स्टेट्स दैट आर दैट इज कर्नाटका वर्थ ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन मिलियन डॉलर उड़ीसा ट्वेंटी वन मिलियन डॉलर एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लैंड रिसोर्सेज सिक्स मिलियन डॉलर ठीक है जी Now funding pattern it is seventy thirty between World Bank and states and fifty fifty between World Bank and Department of Land uh, Re uh, Resources and that is why you can see here six million dollar here uh, in the in this component and job यहाँ पे छः million dollar उसको मिलेगा और यहाँ पे वो छः million dollar contribute करेगा तो इससे clear है कि fifty fifty का यहाँ पे ratio रहेगा between World Bank and uh, the between world bank and the department of land resources theek hai here the department of land resources will get 6 million dollar and here the department of land resources will contribute 6 million dollar theek hai this us 115 million dollar will come from world bank theek hai i hope i am clear and this 46.7 million dollar will be contributed by the participating states and the department of land resources theek hai i hope there are no confusions at the central level the the scope of this program covers management monitoring communication and knowledge sharing functions by the department of land resources all right and that is all about uh, the rewards program and which two states are these karnataka and odisha that's why the correct answer is option b 1 and 2 only question number 6 pe aa jate hain solar decathlon india is conducted every year by the indian institute of human settlements and alliance For an energy efficient economy under the aegis of dash, you need to fill this gap. All right. So this time it is in news because twelve teams have won the Solar Decathlon India Design Challenge for net zero future proof building in the different categories at the third edition of challenge conducted at Infosys campus in Mysuru. Right. It is conducted every year by Indian Institute for Human Settlements and Alliance for an Energy Efficient Economy under India US. Science and Technology Forum, which is an autonomous bilateral organization jointly funded by both the governments of uh, that is the government of India and the government of USA. Okay, ji. This much information is enough about this particular news, and that's why the correct answer is India US Science and Technology Forum. Option E is the correct answer. And jaldi se chalte hain to the questions in short. But before that, if you want to have the PDF of this class, you can join the Telegram channel. And we have launched the crash course for this year examination. So if you want to ace the examination this year, then you can enroll in the in this course by visiting anujindal dot in the website. And this crash course consists of live answer writing practice. This crash course consists of mock test. It consists of all the recorded lectures. It consists of live classes. Vagera vagera sab kuch. Question number seven. During the Kharif marketing season 22-23 up to 22nd May 2023, the production of rice is dash LMTs as per the second advance estimate. Uh, procurement estimate of rice is dash uh, LMTs. LMT मतलब lakh metric tons. And quantity of rice procured is dash LMTs. ठीक है so remember during the Kharif marketing season up to May up to 22nd May 2023, the production of rice is Thirteen zero eight point three seven lakh million ton procurement estimate of rice is six twenty six point zero six lakh metric ton and the rice procured is five twenty point six three met lakh metric tons. Okay, ji. So option B is the correct answer. Question number eight: Which ministry or ministries has have organized the International Climate Research Conclave at IIT Bombay to discuss India's recent progress in climate research? And its agenda and vision for the year 2030. So these ministries are Ministry of Science and Technology and Earth Sciences, and that's why the correct answer is option D, A and B. Let's talk about question number nine. With which IIT has National Highways and Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited signed an MOU for cooperation in civil engineering, road construction, planning and design to facilitate research and development? Which IIT is this? This IIT in question is IIT Guwahati. Option D is the correct answer. Question number ten, important question is who is the chairperson of Chita Project Steering Committee recently constituted by NTCA, that is the National Tiger Conservation Authority. 
so the chairperson of cheeta project steering committee is dr rajesh gopal option a is the correct answer question number 11 union cabinet has approved national quantum mission at a total cost of how many crores from 23 24 to dash with an aim to seed nurture and scale up scientific and industrial research and development and create a vibrant and innovative ecosystem in quantum technology so the total cost for this project is 6003.65 crore and will be implemented till financial year 2031 and that is why the correct answer is option d question number 12 which platform has been developed by drdo in collaboration with quality council of india to measure the maturity of defense manufacturing enterprises including msme very important question this platform in question is summer which stands for system for advanced manufacturing assessment and ranking option e is the correct answer question number 13 where is ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying organizing the sixth phase of sagar parikrama yatra we have discussed it a lot of times so i am not repeating it so the sixth phase will be conducted in andaman and nicobar islands and option d is the correct answer few weeks back we have discussed in detail about sagar parikrama uh, yojana sagar parikrama yatra when its fifth phase was launched so i am not repeating it today in detail and the last question for today what is the total length of india's longest and world's 10th longest sea bridge mumbai trans harbor link the total length of mumbai trans harbor link guys is 22 kilometers option c is the correct answer all right okay and that's all for today's class i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless